We have the blue man of the West player, Mr. Smoke, at the bottom side. Against the red man of the West player, Andy Zan, at the top side. So that's a, a better man win situation, you know. Man of the West clash. It's like a civil war between Gondor and Rohan. Maybe King Theorin was upset about Westfold and declaring war now to Gondor, to the White City. We shall see. Early barracks coming up for Indy. And on the other side, we see also a farm into a potential offensive barracks coming up for Smokey. It might be a very decent possibility for Smokey. Let's see if this is going to work out or not. The barracks early on is going to be extremely hard to be taken down. But this strategy has a weakness. And the weakness is a quite big one. It means you leave everything around your castle unprotected. It means one soldier with Rallying Call can take down both of your farms and because you have zero defense. But we gotta keep an eye on this builder. He is out of vision for Andy. And he has no knowledge about what is happening around this side. And Smokey, I believe, is saving money for the, for the barracks. The barracks is gonna be built up now here on the spot eventually. Nah, he's going for a stable. He's going for a stable. It might be a stable delete after the first Gondonite or after the second Gondonite. That's something in, uh, Abe Habe did a couple of times. He was building up the stable, recruiting not one, but two Gondonites and demolishing the stable right after. I'm actually very curious what the builder from Smokey is planning to do. Maybe he's trying to enjoy the Sunday evening in the river, taking a bath or something. Uh, Joe Vlad, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Welcome, hope you're gonna enjoy your stay. Okay, the first soldier is, you know, moving on. The Gondonites, they should be on the field very, very soon to counter the soldiers. And the builder is going to build a offensive barracks indeed on the corner. And again, Andy has no knowledge about this, all right? Now, he is not able to see that. That's going to be quite surprising. We will stand up and fight for Gondor. We will stand up and fight for Gondor. And that's a very unlucky situation for Andy's son because he's running directly into the Gondonites. One trample and almost every single one of them is getting one-shotted right off the bat. But now he can group them with the pikemen instead. And remember, Smokey has no barracks around this side. It was a stable delete indeed, but Andy doesn't know that. Now Andy has to deal with those Gonda soldiers coming out of the offensive barracks. And the waypoint has been already set. So now the ideal situation for uh, Andy would be if he could get some Gonda Knights upon the field... But that's easier said than done. The Gondonites got damaged a lot from running into the pikemen. That means Smokey should be losing like at least one of these farms easy peasy, right? Double barracks. You know what you can do? You can also build a statue right behind. It means even if he commits to take down your barracks, you can easily defend them because you would have additional damage and armor leadership, right? But that's going to create a lot of pressure on, in on Indisan. The farm is getting demolished. I'm actually curious if Andy is realizing, okay, he has to have an offensive barracks. But the question is, even if he realizes that, is it going to change a lot? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, trampling, trampling. One trample to rule them all. Here we go. Nice one. But in the meantime, two farms are going down. Rallying Cole has been used. They are taking damage from the fortress, but it's okay. This is going to create so much pressure on him, right? Soldier, soldier, spam, spam, spam. The only way you could play around that is actually getting some Gondor Knights upon the field. But there is not even an option as we are talking because Andy has not money for that. Andy has only 400 in the bank, right? And even if he builds up the stable now, uh, his Gondor Knight would still need a while until the stable is building up, until you recruit him, get him on the field. You will definitely lose a lot. You will now lose the barracks, definitely. And that might be a very early GG situation. Yes, Andy is dealing a lot of economical damage to Smokey. He's able to destroy those farms everywhere. And Smokey is actually dropping down to 250 command points only. That's the last farm. And he is down to 200 command points. That's, and he has no money anymore. Guys. He has no money anymore. Right? That's a, offense, that's a defensive barracks coming up from Andy San. Because he lost his initial barracks. He's building yet another one. And that's a very weird situation now. I don't know what is going on. I can tell you, Smokey has zero resource income. I mean, he has only one single farm in the fortress is giving you money. That's all about it. Soldier Battalion standing by. Soldier Battalion standing by. He's going for Soldier like a win or lose moment, right? That's like the one desperate push which has to pay out. Imagine one Gondor Knight. Holy Quackam, this would be so impactful. He has so many Gondor soldiers around this side. Holy, what, what's going on? Like, look, he has zero money. 
But also, Andy has 400 command points, but he has also not enough money. He has to now kind of try to compete with the spam. He's also creeping, that's pretty nice from him. He will be able to find the builder, the builder, the builder, the builder, the builder. Okay, builder is gonna get in safety, but the farm is gonna be taken down. There are actually the Gondonites from Smoky. Did he lose the Gondonites? Eventually, I don't see them on the field anymore. Look how many soldiers he has. Holy, what? The barracks might be taken down because Smoky has no more command it. points available. I mean, he's trying to get back on the game by building more and more farms, but the farm is going to be taken down once again. And he's trying to build some offensive farms. There is... Look at this fortress. It's left alone. It's like the real lone tower. What is this crazy fiesta? He's going to creep. He will need the money from the creeps, definitely. And Andy is not done yet the scheme isn't over yet because the barracks number one is going down remember smoky if he loses both the barracks around this area he will have nothing on the field to produce units anymore and he also lost the gondonite he had from the stable delete so the barracks number one is going down the barracks number two is also going to be taken down power point wise we have six power points for andy and seven power points almost for smoky smoky is going to creep this definitely but the pikes they are on the hunt they might be able to find and kill the builder eventually right the rubble is going to be taken down by smoky and also the money secured and he needed the money <laughs> look at this fiesta running call is going to be used from indy on the soldiers it's, it feels like a goblin mirror match i'm telling you like you don't you know the goblin mirror matches in which you spam goblins all over again and that's how it feels like right now <laughs> for for the man of the west mirror they are actually spamming soldiers every single time he's trying to commit on the barracks but Smokey, keep in mind that he has the chance, if he wants to, to just invest 5 power points to get the rebuild unlocked. And this way, save the barracks. But he's not gonna do that, the builder! What are they doing? Kill him! Oh, Smokey's paying attention. The farm here from Andy will be taken down. He has a lot of soldiers still around this area. The farm here has been taken down as well. The barracks is still remaining on the field. That means Smokey has still the momentum. He can still keep pressuring from this area all the time. 500 command points available for Andy and 300 command points for Mr. Smog. So it's really, really 25. Yeah, Fortress is giving you 25. The farm is going to be taken down once again. And Smoky has zero defense, right? He needs to hope that Andy is not going to kill those farms because if Andy wants to kill those farms, there is nothing from Smoky that can stop him, stop him from doing that. So he has zero units running. around this area. All his bed, all his momentum, all his army is on this offensive side on the side from Andy Sand, you know? And imagine, I'm telling you once again, imagine a Gondonite. Dude, the old Lone Tower special summon from Smoky. It might also be used from... <laughs> the, dude, I think... Use, yeah, use this. That's gonna be big if you use it. I, I don't think Smoky can take this down anytime soon. And yeah, that's a very good placement from both the players. So Smoky's <laughs> Lone Tower is defending. But the thing is, is he trying to take down the barracks with the tower? Actually, the tower is dealing a lot of damage to the buildings too, but I think you need to take down the uh, you need to take down the soldiers first, I think, because now Smoky can you know surround this tower and take it down, and there is another tower building up for Andy. Like there is a that's a huge map, but all the action is in a small tiny spot like this spot in the game number two, and Andy is zero uh, one zero behind. He has to win this. The, the tower has been taken down without being able to take down the barracks. That's a very unfortunate and unlucky situation. And taking down this tower is much, much easy, uh, much, much harder than taking down this tower, because you can see this tower will have 2,500 HP, but this one only have 1,500 HP. So um, the tower from Andy won't be able to achieve too much. We have 450 command points for Andy, 350 command points for Mr. Smog. And he's losing those uh, pikemen eventually to the soldiers. They are level 3, but Smokey's paying attention. Tower is up on the field. What is this fiesta? He's not going to be able to commit on this and eventually take it down. Take down the barracks already, dude. Take down the barracks. That's very much more important. Fiesta game, dude. Fiesta game. Please take down the barracks. The barracks is going to be finally taken down. Andy San is building yet another tower. <laughs> the twin towers, you know what I'm saying? And... Yeah, he will be finally able to deal with this area. He's going to use Rallying Call defensively. Smokey has still no barracks. Uh, he has a barracks. Okay, now he will be finally able to recruit more and more units. He's also building up the stable, creeping, trying to creep the walkway at the same time at the bottom right side of your of the map, uh, Forts of Eisen. The tower is going to be repaired and it's back to full HP. Rallying Call has been used from Smokey, but I think it won't achieve too much. This fight should be won by any son. Two towers and a couple of soldiers should be able to handle the situation, no problemo. 
But again, still no, still no stable. That means he will now be forced to recruit some pikemen to counter the enemy cavalry. So after this fiesta, within the first 10 minutes into the game, Indy is up to 500 command points. He has 4 power points collected after the lone tower. Soldiers, Hold on a second. Ready. That's from Mr. Smog. Oh, that's from Mus Oh, I'm, I'm blind. Smoky was building an offensive tower. But it's going to be taken down now. That's from Indy. Okay, my bad. And Smoky has one power point collected after the Lone Tower rebuilt in the Rallying Call. What an absolute clown fiesta. So we have only this work layer. I think Smoky failed to creep this one at the bottom right side. And this work layer remaining on the field. Only soldier spam from any son. Only soldier spam. Nothing else. He's spamming now from double barrack soldiers. There comes the Gondonite -like Battalion. The Spearman of Rohan. They will try to take down the stable maybe? Yeah, maybe. Can he do it actually? He might be able to do that. But I think Smoky is going to use those soldiers to defend. Okay, creeping. So now Andy knows, okay, I have to deal with Gondonites. Now he knows. It will you know, kind of force him to recruit now more and more pikemen. But Andy is doing a better job in terms of expanding and also getting more and more resources collected. <laughs> this is hilarious, yeah. <laughs> what a fiesta. 350 command points for Smoky, 600 for Andy, son. The creep is going to be eventually secured by Mr. Smog, though. He has definitely more units around this side. Pikemen, soldiers, Gondonites. And there are no pikemen from Andy. That means those Gondon soldiers, they will be crushed by the enemy Gondonites. The stable has been saved. The pikes are going to be cleared by the Gondon soldiers. And this game is not over yet. This game is not over yet. Look at this area. Tower. Look how many farms he has. But I don't know why he's not going for the transition already into the stable himself. Like, I think the stable for Andy would be so impactful in this matchup. Especially at this point of the game. Or maybe even heroes like Elma could be a nice choice. And this way you can at least hunt down the enemy Gondonites. At this point, you need to kind of find a, a solution to the Gondonites of Smokey. Because he's getting also the second battalion recruited very, very soon. So, that's gonna be a good fight for Andy. He should be able to outclass and also outspam Smokey around the bottom left side. And keep those farms protected. And trample, there we go. At this point, Andy is also feeding a lot of power points though, right? He's feeding a lot. That's why Smokey has in total five more power points collected than his opponent. Because he went also for rebuild and Andy didn't, right? Okay. The tower should be able to protect this question mark. It's not shooting. Shoot, okay. Uh <laughs> Still no stable. Still no stable. Level 2 farm though is coming up. The farm here is going to be taken down, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Smoky is trying to get back into the business, get back into the game. The Gondor Knights are getting a beautiful trample off, and they will also be able to get away, killing those soldiers. Isolated from this two Rohan spearmen was a very nice micro. Now he's building an army worthy of uh, the White City, because he might commit now for a big push, right? With Rallying Cole, with those three soldiers. And you know, that's the thing. Because Smokey knows, okay, Andy has no Gondonites, he has no cavalry, so that means I don't need to recruit any pikemen. So I can just spam soldiers, which is going to give me a huge advantage, and then I can group them all together and use my Gondonites and buff them, and go for as much damage as I can. Okay, Rallying Call is going to be used. He's not waiting for the Gondonites, though. The builder from Andy son is going to be crashed by the Gondor Knights. There comes the counter commitment. So Rallying Call from Andy has been used offensively. There is no Gondor Knight. That's a Lone Tower special summon from Smoky defensively though. Now the question is how much damage can Smok deal with the push of the Gondor Knights? And look who is here. It's the boy who is trying to make his daddy proud. Faramir, the captain of Gondor. The stable is going to be taken down, but he can repair it, right? I think he can repair it. But is he going to repair the barracks? He's going to repair the stable. It means the barracks might still be taken down. It's going to be close. Um, he might also still lose this also. I don't know. Maybe taking down the level 2 farm would be a bit more impactful. But there comes the cavalry. And the trample should be just in time to save the stable from getting destroyed. And the counter push is still happening. They are just sitting here like a boss. Tanking the fortress. Tanking the tower. The lone tower is also available for Andy. Should be using it maybe around this side. To save the barracks and the farm. But the main farm has been taken down. There was a level 2 farm that's quite painful. He's dropping down to 525. And Smokey was able to close the gap. In the command points department. He's up to 500 command points himself. 
Farami is not bad, but can be can, can Farami be good enough to counter those Gondonites with Elma leadership now? And I don't know why Andy is refusing to recruit any cavalry himself. Why he's refusing to build a stable. Because without stable, Smokey can keep recruiting more and more soldiers and never has to recruit any of these Rohan spearmen who are horrible against anything but cavalry. So Farami, I don't even know if Farami is a great choice myself. Like, he needs lots of levels to get leadership unlocked. He needs to be level 6. So maybe Elma, Theodin, or even Boromir could be a much better investment. That is, oh, never mind. He has a stable, but his command points kept. That's what it is. He has also one Gondonite. I didn't see that, my bad. Two Gondonites, actually. But no Elma support. It means he will get outclassed here from uh, Smoky. The farm is going to be taken down. Elma is getting levels left and right. Look how fast this boy is leveling up. He was level 1, and now he's already level 3 in like 10 seconds. That's gonna be a big push, but keep in mind that Rallying Call is on cooldown. The Lone Tower has been summoned also from Andy, and he was summoning it right in the middle of the map, which has zero protection on it and no archers inside of it either, you know? And by the way, we have not uh, we have not seen a single archer all game long. Okay, there comes the Battle Tower expansions around the Fortress. Keep in mind that Smokey has no rebuild, but he has the Rohirrim Special Summon. And with the Rohirrim Special Summon, let me tell you that much, he will have the chance to eventually take down the Fortress from Andy-san. Rohirrim, with this Gondor Knights and Aoma leadership, plus Rallying Call, if he is patient, he can wait for it. It's gonna be back up in like 10 seconds or 5 seconds. Then you summon the Rohirrim, you surround the Fortress, and you go for Death and Glory. Gondor calls for it, and Rohan will answer. And I believe that's the plan. There comes the Rohirrim army. Now you gotta start building wall ups. You gotta start building wall ups now. You need to react fast, otherwise your fortress is gonna be blown up. There comes the surrounding effect. There comes the damage. There comes the death and glory and the fortress of Andy San is under attack. I mean, Andy can repair it, right? Uh, he also summons his own Rohirrim. But he has no repair anymore. He needs to get to the power points as soon as possible because the fortress is going to fall into darkness. The question is, can he do the same to Smoky? Base race is going to happen. Four power points in the bank. He needs one more. One more. He's trying to get there. He's trying to get there. Now you got to use it. You got to use repair. You got to use repair. Otherwise, your fortress is going to fall. Your fortress is going to fall. And Andy is unlocking the repair. He's going to now use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Don't hesitate. Don't wait. He's going to use it now. But in the meantime, Smoky is losing everything. He doesn't lose the fortress, but he's losing the stable the barracks the farms everything the question is can smoky still take down the fortress he is still surrounding it and losing the fortress is a huge loss because you will have to reinvest 5000 into repairing it many of these rohirrim are still untouched the elma from andy is chasing down the elma to get him away from the fortress because of denying him the leadership but the fortress is going to fall the rohirrim they have only a few seconds left but it's more than enough in the fortress Lady Ladies and gentlemen, from Andy, has been destroyed. He has a lot of money, he has power points, but what's the matter if you cannot use it? Now the Rohirrim from Andy are gonna be gone, the stable has been taken down. The good thing about this situation is, as we are talking, Smoky has zero units on the field. He has zero units, right? He has only Elma, that's his 50 command points coming from. He has not even uh, one single soldier. <laughs> now it's a very crane situation. The one player has no fortress, the other player has no production buildings and no units on the field. Holy moly, guys. This is a game we like to see in 2022. <laughs> Calm down, man. I'm afraid of you. Don't, my friend. <laughs> Don't talk to Lector. I'm fine. Trust me. Now we have the one Gondonite, one Elma, and one Faramir. Uh, that is the barracks for Mr. Smog. He will try to record, you know, recruit more and more <laughs> units. <laughs> But uh, he's creeping at the same time. Now the question is, how far away? I mean, he's still far away from it. Now he has two options, right? Either he's gonna try to get to the point in which he can repair and replace the fortress he has lost, which again will cost him five thousand, which is a good thing because at the at some point you will need your power points, you will need your Rohirrim summon, your rallying call, especially you will need that kind of stuff. Or you can just try to go for the bin yourself. Right? The money you have, you can invest into building more farms, recruiting more units. But the question, and now that's the golden question, does Andy even have a builder? Because if he has no builder, this game is over. And boys, I have a bad news for you. I have bad news for you guys. Andy has no builder.
Oh, that's... That's very unfortunate. He has no builder. <laughs> so that means he has only one barracks. And that's it. The money he has is pointless. Because he cannot invest the money into anything. He can only recruit units from one single barracks. That's all he can do. And if the barracks falls, which Smok is planning to do now, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's summoning the Lone Tower. He's using the Rohan Spearman. And he's going for the win. He knows that's the last barracks from Andy. He knows that's the only thing that keeps him alive. I don't know what these heroes doing in the meantime, but Andy is about to lose the game. He cannot use Rebuild. He cannot use any power points. He has money, but the money is pointless. The money is useless. And, and... What? Oh, he has the Builder. <laughs> what is this going on? Fiesta! Fiesta is happening! Dude! He has the Builder and he's rebuilding the Fortress. What? He has the level 3 farm too. The level 3 is farm is shooting. But Smokey, does Smokey know where the... No, he doesn't have information about this. He doesn't see that coming. Oh, if the Fortress comes up, trust me, this game can be still turned around. Because he has 475 command points versus 300. Smokey is out of the game. He has no money, right? He has zero money in the bank. Like, he has Spearman. He's trying to find the one barracks. Maybe he's not sure if Andy has a builder or not. He's trying to find a stable. He's trying to find a barracks. But if Andy rebuilds the barracks, uh, rebuilds the fortress, this game is open. And anything can happen. Sire, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. What? Okay. So Faramir is also showing his quality. Shooting from a safe distance all the time. He's level 4. He will keep shooting, keep harassing all the time. Elma is level 3, almost level 3. Level 4 is going to unlock the money, money, money. The farm is going to be taken down. Andy doesn't give Smokey the chance to recover, not even a little bit. He is killing the farms the second they are built up. So Smokey has three farms in one barracks. That's all Smokey got. He didn't even capture this in at the bottom left side. There is a tower. That's a very smart move to build the fortress around the tower. This way he has some sort of protection. But the only good thing for Smokey is his power points are recharging and Andy's hands are not recharging, right? That means the Rohirrim might be available very soon again. Very soon again. The, the farm is going to be found. And ladies and gentlemen, bibidi babidi boo and the fortress is back up on the field and now we are talking look his money he can even recruit aragorn if he wants to right but he needs to get another builder that's the plan from him he needs to get a builder and now Smokey is realizing he's like damn this guy has fortress back on the menu boys and trust me on that one Smokey isn't happy to see that the farm is gonna be surrounded and taken down and dude, I'm smelling a game number three, boys. I'm smelling a game number three. I was expecting much more from Andy as he was playing Dwarves, but it turned out he was playing a much better game with the Man of the West faction at the end of the day. Nine power points collected after the uh, Rohirrim summon for both the players. The power points are finally recharging because if you lose the fortress, you are not only not able to use your power points, but also your power points are not recharging at the same time. The farm level two try to save it. Oh, does he have rebuild? Uh, no, it, he, he can't use it. And that's that's minus 75 command points, by the way. Also, this level 3 farm is damaged. And Smokey now going for a counterattack. The Lone Tower is defenseless. It will be surrounded and taken down. I mean, he has a little bit amount of units around this side, but it's hard for him to commit against the barracks because the second you commit on the barracks, this tower here, this tower here, and also the fortress itself will be shooting you down all the time. So Elma is getting dismounted. Why? You asking? Glad you asking. Because this way he can get a bit more tanky against the uh, pikemen. And Smokey is going for a big counter push. Andy is still up to five, uh, 475 command points now. Smokey is uh, at 350. He's going to drop down to 300 command points once again. That's a Hobbit special summon offensively from Mrs. Smok. But I think he has not the tools and the strength and the damage output to commit against the fortress one more time. 10 power points collected for Andy Brandy. Uh, not Andy's son. I'm confused, okay? Give me a break. He has 10 power points. He can go for the Hobbit summon himself if he wants to. Or for eventually Tom Bombadillo special summon if he wants to. Uh, oh, this level 2 farm is going to be also painful. The Pikes are dealing so incredible amount of damage to this level three, level 2 farms. And Smokey is actually doing a phenomenal job now. Dude, he's dropping down now um, Andy to 475 command points. Losing the level 3 farm was quite painful. 
He's dancing around looking for every single farm, but luckily for Andy, he was building also offensive farms at the bottom side. But so is Mr. Smog. And this game is not over yet. 12 power points after the Rohirrim summon. Talking about the Rohirrim summon, Smoky will have access to the Rohirrim summon for the second time in about 20 seconds. And we have seen that the Rohirrim summon is indeed able to take down the fortress, right? Even through rebuild. And here's Elma too. Right, Elma can give leadership to the Rohirrim, and then with the Rallying Co, which is unfortunately for now on cooldown, you will have crazy amount of DPS to burst down the fortress. So the second you hear the song, like do 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 do, then you need to build those wall hubs around the fortress to deny the melee attackers to attack your fortress because Smoky is going for it. We know what what he's planning to do, right? He is going. He's riding it down. He is looking to take down the, uh, the fortress one more time. He needs pikemen. He needs pikemen as quickly as he potentially can recruit them. But again, Andy has to replace those wall hubs. He has to place them on top of the fortress, around the fortress as expansions. And he needs to respect this army. Maybe Boromir is level 2 yet? No, not even level 2 yet. Level 2 would mean you would be able to stun them. Eowyn is screaming, I am no man. Sniping down one of the him or whatever she's doing. Uh, okay, looks like Smokey doesn't want to come in on the fortress. He want to focus on the map control. He want to take down every single farm and he was building up in the past minutes. There is a lone tower which is keeping this army of Andy back. The fortress is in a perfect fine spot. Look at this wall hubs. Look at these towers. Look at this two lone tower special summon around the fortress. So it's hard for him to commit on this unless you have a huge army. And Andy's Rohirrim summon is still on cooldown. It's gonna be on cooldown for the next one and a half, two minutes because he didn't have a fortress for a long time. All right, Elma level six, the Rohirrim. I mean, you can commit with them, right? You need to fight. It doesn't hurt you if you lose them because they're going to be gone anyway and you're not feeding any power points anyway. Valinkol is going to be used on this Rohirrim. Paramir is almost level six. It's going to unlock his leadership. It's going to be great achievement for Indy because he will have double buff active all the time and Man of the West has no debuff to deny that from happening. Level six and this Elvin is level almost two. I don't know about Elvin though. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't know about Elvin. What can Elvin do against such a reckless hit? I don't think Elvin has lots of potential in this matchup against Man of the West, to be honest with you. Elma level 6. Elvin is level 1 against her brother. Brother, I love you, but don't touch my tralala. -la. Oh? Elma is crushing her. Take this, girl. Hitting like a truck, girl. Trust me on that one, girl. Okay? Boromi is here. Don't touch the woman. I laugh. Or my brother laughs. Where is Faramir actually? You need to protect your wife, Faramir. Almost level 6. 15 power points collected after the Rohirrim special summon. Is he gonna go for 25? Maybe that's the plan. We don't know. We know one thing though. This Rohirrim summon from Andy can actually achieve a lot. And with a lot, I mean kill those level 2 farms, the towers eventually, the barracks. Yes, you have not the chance to take down the fortress, but you can still deal a lot of damage to the economy and the production buildings of uh, Mr. Smog. It's a Lone Tower Special Summon. This one is from Andy. Uh, offensively in the middle of the map. 600 command points for Andy and 425 for Smokey. Elma is lurking around. He's very low on HP. He needs to recover. He cannot fight anymore. Tom Bombadil Summon has been used. Offensively, boom! Sun on your face. Tom Bombadil, the second you see this guy, you wanna, you wanna run away. The thing is, every summon Smokey is choosing now. You know, it may be the Hobbit Summon or the Tom Bombadil Summon. Is going to slow down your 25. So if Andy is able to successfully save and collect 7.5 power points more, he will get the chance to go for the 25, right? And 25 can be game winning. Look at this layout around this side. You know? Bombadillo! Okay, Elma is almost level 7. So just run away until Tom Bombadil is gone. That's all you can really do. Tom Bombadil is now almost gone. The farm is going to be committed on. We will stand up and fight for Gondor, for Rohan. <laughs> almost 18 power points. The Rohirrim summon is almost back up in about 30 seconds. We will hear the sound of the Rohirrim of the Riddermark once again. Okay, so Elma, Elma, Elma. This Elma is actually MVP for Mr. Smog. The amount of economical damage he dealt with this hero is unbelievable. But you kill him now. Elvin, smite him. Elma, spear him. Oh, maybe a bad commitment for him. I mean, double tower, multiple arrows shooting, marketplace is coming up, command points kept Andy. 
He has so many more units on the field, but yet he's struggling to break through the defense. That's a Hobbit summon now for the second time from Mr. Smog defensively. And you gotta just disengage. The Rohirrim summon is almost back up, but I think at this point of the game, you wanna wait until the Hobbits are gone before using it. You know? What is the level of Faramir? I don't know. Faramir is... Is Faramir dead? Oh, Elma. Spear throw. I mean, to be honest, Smoke is paying attention to Elma because he has not much more stuff to pay. Oh! Oh, be careful! Pikes are dealing so much damage to the heroes. He's gonna die to this one Rohan Spearman eventually. I don't know. We will take a look into that. The 20 power points almost in the bank. The Hobbits are coming. Rallying Call is gonna be used on the Hobbits. Boromir is hitting level 4. Stun them. Just stun them. Use Horn of Gondor. Elvin and Elma are disengaging. Frodo Baggins is running it down. Will be taking down. The Ringbearer is no more. And look at this. I can't touch this. I'm telling you. Spearman damage against heroes is something else. Parami is in the tower, okay. Oh yeah, he's in the tower, hiding. Alright. Oh, Eoma, look at this. I am the real Eoma, you imposter. Go for it, go for it. Brother and sister, side by side, smite. I am no man. <laughs> oh, the girl, overkill. Never, never mind, no overkill. And Elvin is hitting level 4. Now she has the most useful and the best ability in the game, and that's this guy, ladies and gentlemen, which will confuse your opponent and lower his IQ because you will you will ask question himself hey is it a Rohirrim is it a lonely Rohirrim or is it a hero he wants no right because look you would look like a Rohirrim camouflage 21 power point collected he is now holding on his Rohan summon for a while he can use it obviously Tom Bombadil summon is almost back up as well Lone Tower summon can be used in about 30 seconds once again he has marketplace with the Grand Harvest he's getting additionally 15 percent more money from those farms and now we will see lots of towers that turned to be one of the most, if not the most, fiesta games so far in the spring tournament for BFME 2, the Rise of the Witch King, guys. And that's only the beginning, that's only the group stage. The important games, the entertaining and more fiesta games are going to happen in the, in the round of 16, in the quarterfinals, semifinals, in the grand finals. The farm is going to be taken down and rallying call. I don't know, why would you not use the Rohan allies? That's the big question. Oh, maybe you want to use them to finish off the fortress. Maybe you want to use the 25 to kill all the expansions around the fortress first. Maybe that's what he's aiming for. Who knows? Maybe that's what Andy has this in, in mind. 23 power points. He's getting closer, boys. 23, 25 is required. I think he can get the chance to use the earthquake. And earthquake is going to one-shot every single tower and every single expansion around the fortress. And the, the fortress is going to be open for a potential attack. Then you might use the Rohirrim summon. Oh, Arrow Volley is coming in clutch. Arrow Volley! He's using Rebuild. And he's paying attention. He will actually lose only one Soldier Battalion. That's not the end of the world. And he's getting there. Uh, you know, basically, smoke event for Tom Bombardier. Hobbit summon. Arrow Volley. He would have been by 25 a long time ago. But you can see, map control is the key to victory. And Andy was successfully able to build himself... A great amount of resource income by expanding a lot by keeping those farms protected for a long time and he was the one who lost the fortress but he's the one who is eventually gonna be able to win this game now with 25 power points from the spell book oh eowyn is no more i think that was eowyn right but it's eoma eoma is no more boys parami is here boromir is here the brothers the captains of gondor the Lone Tower has been taken down. What is Andy waiting for? What is Andy aiming for? Do it. <laughs> Just do it. Because if you don't, uh, Smoky very soon is going to be able to summon his Rohirrim once again. What an absolute clown fiesta game. We have not seen any transition into something stronger. Early game, mid game, lead game. It was filled with Gondor soldiers and Rohan spearmen. We have not seen one time tower guards. We have not seen one time a hero who costs you more than 1500. We have not seen one time Rohirrim either. Right? Only the basic, the cheap heroes, the cheap units. It's like watching Goblin Mirror between Goblins and Goblins. No transition into anything stronger. And Rohan Summon is going to be almost back up. 610 command points for Smokey. Don't underestimate that. He's also getting additionally more money from every single farm he has up on the field. And now he's going for once again for a counter pressure. Level 6 Farami is hunting down those units. 
And does he have 25 heals? Yes, he has Earthquake. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would mean boom, everything is falling into pieces. Now, Master the Rohirrim. The Fortress is under attack. Smokey reacting fast, building every single wall up. But that's going to be the one big commitment. Rebuild from Smokey is on cooldown. He cannot use it. The Fortress got already chunked a lot. But there comes Tom Bombadil to save the Man of the West in the Civil War. Boom! What a beautiful, juicy Sonic Song ability on your face, son. The Fortress is falling into pieces. Rohirrim summoned defensively. This is Fiesta. This is crazy. <laughs> Dude, in the meantime, though, he's also killing a lot of farms. Elma is back on the menu, boys. He's able to kill, you know. But if this fortress falls, everything is going to be not important anymore. There is a, a battle, you know, offensive barracks coming up for Andy right in front of the fortress of Mr. Smog. The fortress is under attack, but you can see the wall hubs are doing such a phenomenal job. Elma is also here. Elvin, 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 the shield maiden of Rohan and Mr. Smog has been defeated while Elvin is screaming, I am no man. 